Hey, what's up? What's up? This your boy S. I Rico. I just wanted to do a little video. Um, quick latches. I seen my boy SP tuning his CRX. He had an incident when his carbon fiber hood popped up on him. And I'm glad you're okay, bro, because that could have went a hundred different ways. But I'm really glad you're safe. But as far as, you know, real versus fake, my man, hey, these right here are real quick latches. Now, I know, I know you guys is like, why is this piece here? That's because I used to have fake rep arrow latches. That's why this piece is here, you know, with a piece of metal. I got like carbon fiber wrap over it though, but, and then I put the quick latch here. I didn't do it. You know, it's kind of off a little bit, but yeah, I've been wanting to fix this for a while. I've been running my car like this for over, shit, I'll say, I got over seven years, man. Or you could just look up my quick latch video about the bumper. I have them on my bumper also. Look, the smaller ones. These aren't even for bumpers. These are for like cabinets or something like that. These are the ones for bumpers and then they have actual bigger ones that's actually for the hood. Check out the quality that you get with real latches, my man. You hear that? Those 310 billet racing hinges though, right? Woo. Sexy. But check out the snap though. Check out the snap. Matter of fact, just check this out. Completely closed, my man. Now they have the ones you can lock and all that other stuff. The bigger ones strictly for the hood. But I have not yet once ever felt like my hood was going to pop, bro. Not once. And I've been running these for a while now. And from the looks of it, the ones that are Integra don't look like real arrow latches. Now, when it comes to quality versus cheap, I'm like a perfect example, bro. This car have nothing but name brand stuff on it. And this car only have, engine-wise, only one name brand part on it. Besides the regulator and... I take that back. I take that back. Fuel injectors, <laughs> regulator, and a camshaft. But everything else, $116 turbo. $80 manifold, and then, well, the wastegate is turbo smart, so you can't count. You can't count that. But yeah, anyway, but I'm a perfect example of, you don't always, you know, shit, you're a perfect example of, you don't always got to go, you know, high quality because I see what you do, and you do a lot of good stuff, bro. Like, your CRX is a monster. Your DC, that Integra was a fucking, a beast. I can't wait till you get it, you know, back together, man. But I'm really happy you're all right, bro. I'm glad you're safe, but when it comes to quick lashes, my man, you got to go quick lash, dude. And check this out. This is an OEM hood. Mind you, this is an OEM hood, not a carbon hood. So this motherfucker is way heavier than your carbon hood, man. And you're right. Carbon hoods are hard to find for a CRX. I really do, though. I know you explain about, like, you know, the wind and how, and how cars are designed. The wind is made to go under, but not running a bumper in your car, bro. I'm glad you're safe, my man. Um, you know, get your car back together. You can get a new windshield, bro, for cheap. They're not that expensive. You just got to bend the, um, you know, the roof of your car back. You know, take the headliner and push that bitch out. But yeah, man, you got to run. You got to run a real deal, man, when it comes to certain parts. Not all parts. You know, like turbos. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, uh. A knockoff turbo is gonna have the same burst rating as a, a you know my Garrett GT 3076R or Borg Warner or anything like that. But my boy Brent from PFI has proven, even um Kyle has proven that now it's almost safe to you know it's almost safe to say fucking ain't brand turbos, dude. I'm not saying they got the same burst rating because, you know, I'm not no turbo specialist or anything like that, but it's almost 
okay to say that you don't have to go name brand. Kyle, you know, and Brent has proved that, you know, countless times now. A non-name brand turbo, I'm pretty sure is not going to have the same burst rating as a name brand turbo. But to blow a turbo up, to explode a turbo, you got to be pushing that shit pretty hard. Like, really hard. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, we just going to say eBay, you know, for the video. The eBay turbo most definitely not going to have the same burst rating as a name brand turbo. If you ain't pushing that turbo to its limits... You could pretty much say fuck a name brand turbo, bro. I have a $116 turbo performing on par, if not better, than my last 51, what, 5431 precision turbo. I shit you not. When it comes to certain things, you just gotta go name brand, my man. You know, I thought I can go non name brand with a certain fuel regulator and a certain fuel rail. Hit the dyno, start having issues, man. So, you know, but that's, you know, that's the car world. You know, you live and learn. You learn where you can go cheap at. You learn where you can't, oh shit. You learn where you can't go cheap. So I'm just glad you, you safe. You know, hope you get your car, you know, back running right, man. Well, back, you know, fixed. And I want to see some more videos, bro. If you haven't subbed, sub to your boy, SP. But I'll see you later, Poppy. I'm out. Peace.